Mr. Hoya, and I am the principal at Cascade High School. I've been in education for 10 years and I'm starting my 11th year. Uh, I taught high school mathematics uh, for five years at Wenatchee High School and then obviously I was the assistant principal here for the last five years. So I'm starting my 11th year in education. <clears throat> uh, one of the things I'm excited about is uh, just continuing to grow our school and continuing to help students uh, reach success and then just being able to kind of tailored to all the kinds of kids that we have here at, at Cascade High School. Um, being able to offer different programs for uh, different interests of students. Uh, they're kind of both related, uh, the advice and favorite quote. One of my quotes that I always think about is, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world, which also goes along the lines of you never know when somebody, when you're going to make a big impact on somebody by just being genuine and, and stopping uh, yourself and, and everything going around in your life to, to ask the student or any person, you know, how they're doing. And, and that genuine interest, I think, makes a big difference <clears throat> in the lives of students and people in general. and my position is assistant principal Cascade High School. Educating. Okay, I've been in education for 13 years. I believe this is my 14th. I started teaching special education at Bale Elementary in Kashmir. I went to teach special education at uh, Wenatchee High School and then have been in administrative positions since then. Uh, assistant Director of Special Education and a little bit of work at Wenatchee High School as the Dean of Students and Assistant Principal there for a year. This year. Oh, I'm excited to learn more about this district and to learn better ways and the best ways to help students find success after high school. So getting students involved, finding meaningful um, work experiences, and um, celebrating the success of all of our fantastic students. Nice. Uh, well, from my little sticker, pamphlet card, it says, I've got nothing to do today but smile. So that's my advice. Um, also, be the change you want to see in the world. Do the things that you want to see being done. Be part of it. Get involved. My name is Conrad Wharton and I teach English. This is my second year teaching, so last year I was teaching seventh grade English. Uh, coming from 7th grade into the high school, I'm just really excited to see what the students can do. My 7th graders were incredibly capable, almost all of them, and uh, at the high school level it's just really cool to see students step up and realize what they're capable of, um, especially students who maybe might not have realized that before. Cool. Um, I mean, obviously I, I enjoy reading and writing, uh, but I enjoy, you know, being able to think critically about a lot of different texts and then, uh, also seeing the interpretations that students bring, um, you know, that's like a totally unique space. Everyone has their own background that they're bringing to the stories they read or experience, mm -hmm. and watching students interact with the things we read and learn about in here is really cool. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> I had some good teachers that inspired me, um, and also some bad teachers that I was frustrated with, and I realized I was, I think, when, even when I was in high school, I considered vaguely teaching English, but uh, it definitely was like a long and roundabout path to get here, and I think eventually I was just inspired by some of the other teachers I knew uh, in the area and in the district, and the the stories they had and the, the experience they had with their job. So yeah. Favorite quote. Okay, this is where you're gonna put me on the spot with a favorite quote, and I'm gonna totally cop out. I'm I'm not gonna answer this question. I feel like a favorite quote would be like choosing a favorite student, and I don't have favorite students, and I don't have a favorite quote. Sorry. <laughs> I teach uh, high school Spanish. 
I've been teaching a total of about 12 years. Um, it's a new community. I like learning and um, yeah, just the community. It's small and um, it's uh, my son goes here too. <laughs> uh, just being part of someone's learning, um, I really enjoy that, having that opportunity and I also learn from my students. Since I remember, I have always been interested in teaching, and so I feel this is, um, I don't see myself doing nothing else. Um, I have a bunch of quotes, so it's hard to <laughs> select one, um, and they're mostly like in Spanish. Um, um, but my advice is, to find something enjoyable to do every day. It's hard to keep a balance between academic life and personal life, so that's my advice, that always find something relaxing, something that you enjoy doing every day. Uh, my name is Colin Connor. I'm in my first year here at Cascade High School. I'm teaching science. I'll be doing the ninth grade IPC uh, first semester, and then I'll also have plant sciences added onto that second semester. This is my 16th year teaching in the classroom, and I also have four or five years of full-time coaching experience outside of that. Um, I'm just liking being in a school that is small enough where I can actually get to know my students. The last school I was at had 2,700 students. Um, so it's just a lot more personable experience, and I so far I really like that. Uh, the thing I like about science is hand, trying to have a hands-on experience, um, trying to have lab activities where the kids can actually do the science instead of just reading it through a textbook. Um, so what attracted me to science, honestly, was the lab activities, making things go boom in the classroom. I was coaching. Um, so I was in Colorado coaching for Crest Butte Academy. I did a lot of ski racing back in my younger years and I started working with some pretty high level ski racing athletes at Crest Butte Academy and that led me into working with youth and I enjoyed it and that started me down my career path. Probably won't say it perfectly but um, probably my favorite quote is a Mark Twain quote which was something along the lines of 20 years from now it'll be the things that you didn't do not the things that you did that you'll regret so cast the battle lines explore dream discover go ahead and take a chance uh, my name is bella garcia and i teach choir for the high school and the middle school this is currently my first year teaching Uh, I'm very excited for the concerts we're going to have throughout the year and to take the choirs to festival and watch them perform and um, watch, them grow, watch them grow through performing music. I really enjoy how it's something different every day and how there's always something new, there's always something, um, there's always something to improve and there's always paths to grow through it. Uh, so I have been in choir all of my life, uh, all through school, and um, when I was in choir at my community college, we took a trip to New York City and we got to perform in Carnegie Hall. So um, that sparked my um, interest in being able to give that opportunity to kids and be able to take them places like that. Uh, Jimi Hendrix said, uh, music doesn't lie. If something in the world needs to be changed, it must be through music. My name is Miss Wilson and I teach math here at Cascade.
This is my first year teaching ever. I'm excited to get to know everyone and I'm excited to be part of the Cascade family and watch kids like progress as they go through their high school years. Cool. I enjoy seeing the like creative process that goes into solving math problems and how each person goes about it in a different way but how you can end up at the same place. I initially, I, the elementary school, I hated math. I had a really awesome middle school teacher and then from there I just wanted to share that passion that she had for math with others. Advice. Piece of advice I think is like grace in everything. Give yourself a chance to make mistakes and learn from them and know that it's okay. Mm -hmm. You can grow from those mistakes as well. Yeah.